So let's talk about how to deploy a virtual machine for Safeguard and how to do the basic configuration. So the first thing you need is the usual thing. You have to go to the download portal and you have to download the appropriate software. So go to the privileged password site in one identity and select the one identity safeguard appliance. Depending on the type of the hypervisor you're using, maybe you're using Hyper-V or you're using VMware based stuff. So uh, choose the appropriate machine for your environment. I'm going for the virtual uh, VMware version and I already have downloaded this before. So let's start how to deploy it. To do this, we just switch to our environment. Here in my case, this is an ESXi server. And I now simply deploy the OVA file. The advantage having an OVA file is that you do not need to pre-configure or create a base version of a virtual machine first with all the appropriate hardware, software, capacity and all, all the other settings you may choose. It is all in the OVA file. So simply, it's very easy way. Simply pick the file, deploy it and everything's okay. So that's what we do. So the first thing we do here, we're going to go for our virtual machines and we're going to click on create register virtual machine. And now we are using deploy a virtual machine from an OVA file. This is a common file and we are providing our machines in the OVA file format. Click on next and now give it a name. Now click to select or drag. We just click on here. Then we're going to select our download folder. So here it is. Here's our safeguard VMware machine that we have already downloaded. So double click on that. Okay, that looks good. And click on next. Then select the storage area where you want to have it deployed. Or maybe we're going to use this one. Doesn't matter. Depends on your configuration of your server. Um, I think you have to select select fig provisioning so it will allocate all the uh, storage area on your virtual disk uh, by default so it's not something that grows then in the future and click on the next and click on finish and now you see something here in the area that this stuff is being imported and uh, stored on your virtual server or on your on the on your virtualizer so we just have to wait until this operation completes so after deployment has completed we just have to follow the initial setup procedure and to do so just connect with your virtualizer or whatever tool you're using to the virtual console of the safeguard appliance and you may see something similar to this one so you see some home screen and the easiest way now to continue or the only way to continue is just to click on begin initial setup. And then you're going to log in with the admin user and the password for the admin user you will find as usual in the documentation in the initial appliance setup guide. So in this initial setup screen you have to provide the required information, for instance the appliance name. And of course, you need a license key for the underlying Windows-based operating system of that appliance. We are currently licensing this with some kind of product key. You're going to see it here over there. But you have the alternative to use a key management server instead. But that's the only way it supports. And then you have to enter the, enter the NTP information. NTP is essential for operation of the appliance. So if there's something wrong with NTP or with the time sync in your operating environment, you may get going to end up in a couple of problems that relies on out of sync time from the various machines in your environment. And the other one we have to specify as well is the network information. So the machine knows which is the IP address it has and where are the other services it needs. For instance, you need some kind of gateway to access the internet. If you don't have access to the internet, uh, activation may fail. And of course, you have to specify the DNS server so you can have your DNS lookups going uh, going in the right direction that you can resolve all these activation servers or other, other servers later you're going to have to connect to. And the DNS information that is sufficient for your environment. Just give me just one more information on the appropriate problem you may encounter here. So if you are using a proxy server to access the internet because of network security or the usual 
way your systems are connecting to the internet, uh, you're going to see that you have no field here in, this, in, in that initial setup screen to provide that information. And there is none. So this, if you cannot configure a proxy server to connect to the internet and you are required to use one, you, you will not succeed in connecting. And this will then lead to the fact that the activation cannot continue because you are not connected to the internet. The only workaround I'm aware of is to use some kind of whatever product key you have for maybe a standard operating system or a trial key or for, for a server or whatever that maybe gives you around three days uh, granting time for doing an activation. You can then continue with that key to uh, get this temporary license so that you can exit this main con this initial setup screen and then after this the appliance has started you can then change the key later to your to the windows 10 ltsc key you are, you you need uh, and to configure some kind of proxy server that you have available then in the standard windows based administrative client but you don't have it here this is a special proxy service that you need uh, in this initial setup screen Okay, just a workaround. Then you may be able to configure this appliance appropriate. So we don't need this. We don't have, we don't need a proxy server. We, so we just click on OK, but we already have done this. As you have seen, it is currently licensed and it shows you the last or the, the last inf information bits of your license key you're using. If you do an initial setup on this case, you will then need to click on the save button over here. And then you're going to see a little nice screen that exactly lay, lays out the steps it's, it's passing through and then it should be all green and everything should be up and working.